Hey guys, welcome back. In this sewing tutorial, I'm gonna show you how I make my favorite travel shoe bags. Because when I put my shoes into my luggage, I don't want them touching my clothes or anything else, because let's be honest, they're dirty. So these are really simple to make and there is no pattern required to download and print. You can choose any fabrics you want and it really makes it a lot of fun and the drawstring is perfect. Anyway, I even finish it off with a French seam here. So let me show you how easy this is. So I began with my piece of fabric that measured about 31 and a half inches wide and about 13 and a half inches high. But you know what? You can make it any size you want. So on each end, I did a double hem. I began with half an inch. So here I am pressing my first half inch hem. And then after I press the half inch hem, I repeat the process with an inch hem. And this really creates the casing to put your string, rope, or ribbon, whatever it is that you want to feed right through there. And I'm going to pin it in place so that when I sew, it doesn't move. And I'm going to repeat the same exact process on this side. Loving this tutorial? Please subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my latest videos. And now that I'm all pinned down, I am going to go over to my sewing machine and sew right along this edge here, back stitching on the ends, and that creates my casing here. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the opposite side. And here you go, my casing. Now I'm going to fold the fabric in half again with wrong sides together, making sure I really lined up and matched up the edges, both the finished edge and the unfinished edge here. And I'm going to pin it together. I am getting ready here to make the French seam. And now I am going to start right under that sewing line and sew all the way down about three eighths of an inch on both sides. But remember, don't close up your casing. Now I'm going to trim very close to the seam line. And on the top there, I'm just going to make a turn with my scissors. Repeat on the opposite side. Now I turn the bag inside out and I'm gonna make sure I really poke out those corners there. And it's time to press again. But I'm gonna make sure that seam is all the way pressed out as much as I can. So I'm going to really feel for it there and then give it a good press. And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side. But of course, I'm going to pin this in place so it doesn't move. See, my seam is pushed all the way out pin it in place and now I'm going to go back to the sewing machine and sew all the way down again with about a quarter to one half inch seam allowance. Here I am all done and I am pushing the bag right sides out. If you get your little threads there just trim them off and now it's time to feed through whatever it is that you want to feed through. So I was thinking of using ribbon but then I really liked the way this thin rope worked much better. So I'm putting it onto a safety pin and I'm going to feed it through.
So I just stretched it out and I'm gonna trim this end here. And that's the length of my drawstring when the bag is not pulled closed. And I'm just gonna knot it so of course it doesn't fall out. And what I'm gonna do now is repeat the same exact process and feed it through the opposite end. And that's it, the bag is done. So I'm just gonna give it one final press and it's ready for my shoes. So I hope you enjoyed this sewing tutorial and if you did, why don't you also check out this other video of mine here with projects that are just as easy and also a playlist of other fun fashion accessories. Thanks for watching.